Yo, what's up guys? I'm back to a brand new episode of Yo-Kai Watch. So, uh, we're apparently at around the end of the game. Final chapter, I'm pretty sure, which is crazy. I think the internet capped to me again. They, it said it was around 20 hours. There's no way we're in the final chapter, and the final chapter's gonna last 10 hours. I refuse to believe that. Maybe the boss will take a long time, but not that long. Look, look how many hours I have in the game. We're already at the end? Like, what? I just don't get it. I'm so confused still. But you know what? At this point, uh, it's whatever. It's whatever. So now we have to go to uh, the yokai world. Which is definitely going to be interesting. Now, I know I said on my own time, I'd go try and look up ways to get better yokai, but unfortunately... Uh, that didn't happen. You know what? Screw it, I'm bored. Ooh, let's go. Because, you know, I've, I've debated on this, right? Because to me, uh, there's one thing about Yokai Watch that I still really enjoy. And that's just the creativity of it, you know? Oh, I didn't even realize that Swift was moving. There you go. I don't know, like... Uh, I don't know how to put it. Because there's so many reasons I could list off why this game and the series as a whole hold such a special place in my heart. But uh, let's see, swings are so fun. This is so radical. You wanna take a turn on the swing too? If you don't, that's fine. I'm so happy, I just wanna share all my happiness. Cool. I wanna try fighting Yokai real quick. Just like, get some XP, you know? Cause we kinda need some. Ooh, Dimmy. But yeah, this is one of those things where Yokai to me, like Yokai Watch, Man, it's something that when I was younger, definitely, like this was a this was a series I grew up with, man. A series that I genuinely, like, I cared a lot about it. Like, it's weird, because I know the situation with me and this franchise is very weird, as I've mentioned in previous episodes. You know, the whole thing with like, you know, the fact that I've actually never beaten the Yokai Watch game, and yet I know so much about the series and love it so much. I mean, like. Honestly, this is why I like recording Let's Plays. It's something that I've wanted to bring up ever since I started this Let's Play, but... I feel like Let's Plays are kind of important. People say that your average casual Let's Plays are dead, and you need to have all this high, like, level editing. There's a reason I don't always go for that. Yeah, I'll go for that on, like, maybe my horror channel occasionally. And then also with super cuts that I'm going to start doing on this channel as well. But I feel like there's an importance with casual Let's Plays like this, you know? With minimal to no editing and just playing the game and talking. It's to give people an experience of a game they might not be able to play. You know? And that's... I think I said this many years ago, but I made a YouTube channel because I just want to have some fun. I want to share my interests, you know, have a good time on this platform. And honestly... Playing this game has truly reminded me of that, because, man, I, I miss this game so much, and finally playing this on the channel is definitely a nice change of pace. Because, hey, it really made me think about it when I started playing it, because I would have never been into Yokai Watch properly if it wasn't for, I'd say, Abdallah. Like, if it wasn't for that guy, I would not be a fan of Yokai Watch, because, like, well, as much as a fan as I am, because... I had a skill issue at the other games, and I ended up giving up, because I didn't realize, you know, grinding's a thing in games like these. And I never really caught on to that, so I just skip all the fights I could, not really focus on doing too much to improve my stats in games like these, and I just kind of fail at some point and not be able to complete it. If it weren't for Abdallah, I wouldn't know about all these different things with the Yokai Watch. I, you know, I just wouldn't. And before I read this dialogue, I'm gonna just finish up real quick. I, I wouldn't know anything about these games. And it's crazy to think about that. Like, Yokai Watch 4, I'd know nothing about. 
I probably wouldn't even know that game existed. I probably would have found out about it eventually, but I bet I would have found out about it after it came out. Because since I was so knees deep in the Yokai Watch community for years, I knew about that game the second it was announced in Japan. I knew about it since day one. Like, that's how knees deep I was. And honestly, it's crazy. And just seeing that, you know, now without Let's Plays, without casual Let's Plays, I would have never actually got into this game the way that I have now. And know as much as I do about the whole series. It's like... It's such a weird thing, because everybody keeps talking about how with YouTube you need all this crazy high-quality editing and all this other stuff, and my honest response to that is, like, I, I don't think people should have to do that. Because doesn't it take the fun out of things? If you're forced to sit down and make everything the highest quality possible, you need everything perfect for the algorithm to like you. I think that's lame, because it's like... What about me, for example, right? I know there's a lot of other YouTubers who do the exact same thing I do, right? Think about it in that scenario. What if, let's say, you the viewer right now, what if you wanted to make a channel, just play through games casually? You don't want to put in insane hard work because you want to do it for fun. You don't want to sit here acting like this is a chore. Then the algorithm kicks in. Nobody watches your content because you're not having all this crazy like, dopamine-inducing editing. It's like, come on, man. I just want to make some goofy, like, let's play videos at the end of the day. Like, that's all I want to do. And it's kind of a shame that now everybody feels pressured to make all these high-quality edited videos and stuff like that. Like, when I watch let's plays now, they have all this editing everywhere, all this crazy editing, and I'm like, can you calm down? You're kind of hurting my brain there, buddy. You know? I'm gonna continue talking about this after this, because I think this is like a whole thing here, and I don't want to stay on here for like a minute straight, or like more, you know, longer than I already am. This is it. This is the place I saw in my dream. I made my way to the Yokai world from the spot here. Is that possible, Whisper? Indeed it is. Lucas is speaking some sort of, uh, prophetic truth? In fact, that, that right up there is actually a Yokai elevator. Think of it as a bridge between the human realm and Yokai world. Uh, this is short notice, but about but how about a trip to the yokai world? You know, it's a thought I've always had. What if they just cut down the tree? Like, what if they just cut down the? What if the tree got cut down? Wouldn't it be over? Like, I I still am confused on how yokai exactly work. Like, that's something I don't think even like I've watched a lot of the anime, and even still, they never really go over that, do they? Huh? They really never go over it. Like. Once again, I'm gonna be honest when I say this, okay? I don't think they should. Because, hey, look. It's Yokai Watch. Do y'all remember the stupid plot with Sproink in the hot springs? That's Yokai Watch. Like, we don't need to get so in depth about stuff. And I feel like it's important, too, for games to not really go too deep into things. Cause, like, some people like games like that. I personally don't. I think that games work much better without answers to everything. Because if we knew exactly how yokai functioned, like, for example, how people became certain yokai, because we see clones of the same yokai. Like, there's not one Kaden, I'm pretty sure. There's multiple. So, like, how does that work, right? Like, if everybody becomes a yokai when they die, or objects even, how does... Like, what determines what yokai person becomes, because that's supposed to reflect their personality. So, you know, it's like, what, ref what like, chooses that? We'll probably, and hopefully, never know the answer. Because if we don't know the answer, I mean, hey, I think it just works for the best. Because it's just kind of left up to interpretation. And there's many different theories that exist for that, that I would hate for them to be deconfirmed, because, you know, one of them gets confirmed correct. Like, they're all pretty good. <laughs> Can we really get to the Yokai world from here? Sorry, I am yapping today. I am becoming the yappinator right now. Of course, all we need to do is, uh, it's somewhere around here. I forgot what you do. Oh, yep, that. Never mind. Here we are. Now, Lucas, if you please. So I just need to unlock this, right? You know what's so stupid? Remember I was talking about a while ago 
imagine Akul would be a character that was like being inspirited to be able to see yokai. Oh, hi, Insomni. Uh, but just imagine how funny that would be as a character. I just want to clarify I was not talking about this, okay? Because we all know there's characters in the series that can just see yokai for some reason. And Lucas is one of them that I also somehow completely forgot about. And I feel like that's, uh, ooh, I feel like this is one of those situations where, like, I don't know. I think the concept I had a while ago is still pretty good, because it'd just be funny. I think the dynamic would just be hilarious. Like, this bro needs a yokai to see yokai and interact with people in the yokai world, or, you know, just help Nate or whatever. Like, it'd be funny as frick. Why, hello there. Welcome to the yokai elevator. I'm going to try to stop yapping now. This will take us to the yokai world in the blink of an eye. Wow, let's go. Now, what would happen if that tree was cut down? I'm sure the portal would move. I'm sure the elevator would go somewhere else. Next floor, yokai world. Since I remember nothing about Lucas, I so... Oh my god, I'm actually really interested now. How can he see Yokai? Now arriving at the Yokai world, when I stay. So this is the Yokai world. This is totally weird. This is like what I saw in my dream. It feels familiar somehow. Yokai have called this place home since before anyone can remember. A bit of change from the human realm, eh, Nate? I don't know uh, why or how Lucas saw this place in his dreams, but... The yokai we saw in the crystal must be here somewhere. We need to stop him before he tries to invade the human world. What are we waiting for? You know what I noticed, too, just now? Nate has way less portraits. Like, I remember in Yokai Watch 2 and especially 3, he has, like, a bunch of different portraits. Like, so many different expressions. He barely has any now. I just realized that. Welcome to the yokai world. The yokai world is a nice place. You should visit at least once in your life. Yeah, big shame the majority of the human race can't do that. Ooh, you're the evolution of him. I'm not even gonna try. Buzz buzz, here comes a human. Oh, and here's a mirror Oh, are you joking? I guess that's because it's scripted. Ooh, you. Uh, it's been ages since we had a human guest. How splendid. Now, see, that would be a pretty fire yokai to become. Because I'm almost bet you that she looked almost identical to that when she was alive. Guaranteed. Pop a bolt first time in the yokai world? Try to relax. Oh, are those two together? Mama or on pop a bolt? No, that, that's probably kind of like happy air and, uh... Desmeralda, I bet you it's the same type of dynamic. I'm gonna have to stop getting lazy. I'm really gonna have to get new yokai at some point. Castilius, how are you? Castilius one, uh, or the first. Yokai world's a nice place. Things have been a little strange recently. Guess it's the second. The Yokai world's a nice place. Though an ill wind blows the plate. Where's third? Oh, it's you! Hi! Bro, I still forgot your name! I still don't remember your name. What was it? I guess we're about to find out. Nate, there's something... There's someone or something standing there. Oh, I remember him. What's your name, buddy? Can we know now? Oh, Venox! Yes, Venox! Venox! Oh my god, I remember now. Yes, Venox. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank god, I felt so dumb for not remembering his name. Venox. Right. Oh my god. Then there's like a variant of him. Oh, I forgot what it was called, too, but you know what I mean. Nate, uh, what are you thinking by bringing him here? He's our last hope against McCracken. What are you talking about? Well, this guy uh, seems pretty angry. Nate, what did you do to him? Nothing. We cannot, under any circumstances, allow him to go any further. 
He must sleep, either by his own will or by my force. Whoa, chill, buddy. Yeah, this entire part of the game I don't remember anymore. What the frick? Okay, yep. This is 1,000% blind at this point. Here we go. Okay, you're not a normal boss. You do not have a boss health bar. You're a normal enemy. That's interesting. I guess it's because you're a normal yo, guys. So it does make sense. Ooh, that is a lot of health, though. Oh, I should have stopped by every mark. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna bite me later. That's so gonna bite me later. I'm gonna readjust my. Oh my God, spin! I cannot wait till I port this save to my actual 3DS. Oh my god. Ooh, no you don't. Nope. Okay, you got a lot of health left there. I might actually switch to you 3 Wow, okay, that was... Oh god, quick! Mirapo! Mirapo, he's about to take out our whole team. Nope, 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 take them out. Oh, dang! Wait, what? Cancel? Didn't know you could do that. Binox Blessing, oh god. Don't take out Thornyon, please. And Chaos. Also, when are you gonna evolve? We need Kappa to evolve. Jesus. This guy's not giving up. This guy's not giving up, huh? I'm gonna switch over to you. Maybe Sushiyama can uh, do something about this. Oh my god, I forgot there's a missed chance. Okay, you could just go after them. Oh, Sushiyama's dead, wait. I'm just gonna do all that before you cause a problem. Dang it. Oh boy. Ooh, comma son. Excuse me, did that just miss? Surely one of those hits miss, right? Okay, he's almost dead. Let me just get my like Yeah, let me just do this. Yep. Ah, eh, whatever. We're close to the end. I'm not. Yeah, I was about to say I'm not gonna waste a healing item. Okay. Interesting. Why did you fight us, bro? What did we do to you, huh? Also, I'm confused. What he was saying? Was he talking about Lucas can't be here or Nate can't be here? Which one were they saying? Because that that part threw me off. When he was talking about like, oh, he's our last hope. Was it supposed to be Nate? that he was talking about, or Lucas, I don't know. Uh, fine, you win. But I won't take responsibility for what happens. Yes, you will. Be my friend. Hey, so who are you? Why have you been helping me? We have to continue on. Are you going to let us pass? Okay, Nate. Uh, we'll do it your way. Pay attention, Lucas. Huh? Me? What? We're gonna keep going, but you need to know the truth. I'll tell you what's happening between the human realm and yokai world. Ooh, okay, here we go. Go ahead. This realm was once a peaceful place, under the rule of King Enma. Uh, our lives last longer than those of humans, of course. But they do end. When the king passed on, yokai with a dark ambition seized control. Chairman, uh... Squidilus... Squidilus... Squidilius, oh my god, how do you say that? Squ squidid, 
Elias, I think, Squid Elias, McCracken, and his political party took over. I had no idea all this was going on while I was sealed away. King Enma strove for a world where humans and yokai live as friends. Your yokai watch has been made for that exact purpose, Nate. When he died, he passed on that wish to his people. However, when McCracken made himself ruler, he threw the realm into chaos. But that was not enough for him. He now wants to rule your world, too. So that's why those most yokai were planning an invasion. Correct you are. It's all a result of the chaos in the yokai world. Is that why I've been attacked by so many yokai, too? The late King Enma had a son, but his power has not yet awakened. He was our hope. We needed to keep him safe until that time. Don't you dare say Lucas is his son. Don't you dare. Do I, I kid you not, my memory's blank. Like, I'm not even remembering a plot twist here. My memory's blank. Oh, God. What is it? Oh, here we go. So we helped him escape to the human world and we erased his memory. You're talking about Lucas, aren't you? We did it to protect him. We did it so that McCracken would not find him. No way, you mean me? That's correct. And Nate? Unlike other humans who accepted the existence of yokai like us. Thus I believe Lucas, the son of King Enma, was safe in your hands. Nate, you must find a way to defeat McCracken. I will. I'm glad I placed my trust in you. You have my eternal thanks. Call for me anytime if you need my assistance. If you need- Oh, wait, if you need my assistance in battle. That just sunk in. Wait. Let's go. This is first A rank yokai, I think. Venoct. Venoct! Nope, you're staying Venoct. I think I'll replace, uh... I'll replace Mirapo with you. All right. What what should I do? Luz, I think it would be best for you to return to the human world. Leave defeating McCracken to Nate here. We're gonna need you after all this is over. Huh. <sighs> okay, I'll wait for you back at school. I shall escort Lucas to make sure he gets there safely. Good luck. Oh, he's gone. This is quite a large res responsibility, Nate. The fate of two worlds is on our shoulders, but you know, no pressure. Let's put everything we've got into beating the Kraken. I'm ready. Watch this be the final boss. I want to go and... First things first, Mirapo. Oh my god, okay. Uh, sorry, Mirapo. Yep. Please tell me Venoct is charming. Nope, Slippy. I do not remember Slippy. I know Brave and Mysterious and uh, Eerie and stuff like that. Yeah, Eerie. Slippy. God, I am out of touch. S rank? Excuse you? He's S rank? I didn't think he was S rank. That just threw me for a loop. Oh my god. I did not think he was S rank. That's actually crazy. We have not our first A rank, our first S rank. Oh boy. That's a bit scary. The fact they're giving us an S rank. Like at the end of the game. Without even needing to upgrade our watch. You know what? Nah, we need to get our XP. You can't fight these guys? Never mind. Guess we can't fight these guys. Let's see how many things below here. You think I'm lying? Drop down and see for yourself. Thanks. I was expecting a bu-
Well, that's going to be that for the Let's Play. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What are you doing here, buddy? Halt, I am Gargalos. Uh, one of the King's Enma's elite guardians. You're, you're an elite guardian? What happened with my brain, bruh? Why don't I remember any of this? Even the King Enma is no more. My loyalty shall not fade. If you wish to enter, prepare to be judged by my hand. Don't you dare. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait, does he make you do more side quests? Am I- Wait, am I remembering this wrong? Oh, no. Now, how many quests have you completed so far? Only five, eh? Seems like you don't care enough to aid those around you. Could I lost some, some selfish in the domain of the late king? Away from this place, go uh, serve until you're too weak to serve anymore. Oh, boy. I thought he was getting ready to jump down there with us. Oh, boy. Oh, that's what that guy meant, but there's a bunch of yummy stuff down there. You're on a cake. That's great. Buzz Buzz, I can't eat all this. Hungry Pass, that's really what this place is called. Ooh, Deluxe Ramen, thank you. I burn brighter than a candle. Yeah, it's Cap. Sorry to break your ego there, buddy. Oh my god, these people with the lawnmower, bro, chill out. You know what I wish you could do in this game? But it makes sense why you can't. I wish you could save in multiple save-like slots. But I guess it makes sense why you can't, because this game doesn't ever lock you out of something. Well, except for two, around the end, if you know what I mean. Probably why I couldn't beat the final boss. Hold on a second. Oh, you? Oh, wow, we don't have any humans around here. Oh, Grub Snatch. I had to do a side quest with you in, like, the second game, correct? Let me guess. Not enough quests. So, Gargos dropped you down here. I get it. Quests can be tough. Now you're trying to get out of here. Well, I can't let you off that easy. Of course, if you hate quests, I guess I shouldn't uh, ask you for help. But how about hide and seek? I'll hide and you can find me. I guess it's not too different from a quest, but not too bad. If you find me, I'll let you through. What? Hide and seek? Lame. Looks like that's the only way forward. We'll have to humor him. Okay, I'm gonna hide real good. You see. I mean, you won't see. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Here we go. Oh, my God. These are all clones. I'm Snitcher, not Grub Snatch. That's why Grub Snatch on this road. I'm Grubber. Oh my god. This is not Grub Snatch. Oh wait, it is. I'm just getting started. Yeah, okay. Good. Okay, so they stay in the same- I just want to make sure he's not, like, being stupid. Oh, what? <sighs> okay. I'm 
I'm tired of cake now. Okay, you're normal. Whoa, next time won't be so easy. Please be the last time. Rubber snitch. Oh my god. Around here, look carefully. No way, I thought it hit so well. Yeah, the fact that he said that just gave it away. Oh my god, how many times do I have to find you? Uh, shut up. You are like that one guy from the Splatoon shop. What? Why is there so many variants of you? I guess they shouldn't have taken the snack break. I'm off. Yeah, oh my god. I need a little break. Oh my god. Am I supposed to be doing something specific? Okay, Grub Snorch. Cool. Oh no, I thought that was... okay. Oh my god. Of course the side quest would have paid off. I should have had a feeling... I should have had a feeling the game was going to do this. How do I get up there? Oh, what? Cool, I'll take it. Cool, alright. Ah, boy. Problem is, I bet you he's up there. Oh my god, how do I get up there? How in the world do I get up there? Oh my god, this is gonna be terrible. I know, I can almost guarantee he's up there. I can almost guarantee it. But how do I get up there? Game, please, I don't want to spend five years on a chase. We've gotten that one before. Oh boy. I'm gonna go talk to all the other ones. Maybe he's pulling some garbage. And he's going to be, like, replacing one of the other ones. Oh, 
Oh, never mind. Oh, I'm tired, I lose. Okay, you win. Are we waiting back where we met? I am not doing that again. Also, I got a bunch of cool items, so, uh, thank you, goodbye. You're amazing, no wonder you made it this far. You can go through now, just be careful out there. You're pretty cool to make it this far. Go ahead and use that rope to get back to the entry hall. Are we just sneaking in? Yeah. Hey, good to see ya. Only gets uh, hairier from here on in. XP. Pinky Poo. I swear that thing we need for uh, fusing in Yokai. Venox, what are you doing? Oh, I'm shocked that not kill all of them. I'm not gonna waste this ultimate. I'm just gonna like let this play out. Okay, maybe we're moving... Okay, I will try something. Oh, you do not like that. Just get out of here, bruh. Actually, not saying worth it. Look at your health. You're dead. There you go. As I said, though, I really need a healing yokai. I really need one. One that focuses on restoring health. Hello. Oh, dang, you caught me loitering. Oh, no, oh, no. Are you going to try to drop below the clouds? Nope. Where are you going? The more white guys uh, there are. It's scary. Oh yeah, what happened to them? They're like almost like grayed out. Yeah, what the frick happened? Wait. Oh, we can't even try and befriend them. Oh well. We cannot have anybody dying. Because we don't know when the next boss is. Since this is apparently the final chapter, uh, yeah, we cannot. We can't risk it. We can't. Alright. What the frick is happening?
Can't save either. Oh my god. Stop it, man, that you stop right there. But here, I can only assume that you intend on progressing onward. However, I was ordered to guard this gate by King Enma himself. I simply cannot allow a human stranger to pass. Do you understand? Uh, sure. Good, that's an honest answer. And I value honesty, you know. Let me ask you a very important question now. Ogoralis? Is that how you say that? Ogoralis? I don't know. King Emma told me that children are not allowed to proceed past here. All non adults shall be turned away. Just tell me as you before me. Are you a child or an adult? Answer honestly. He said he likes honesty. You know what? I'm a, I'm gonna try this. Maybe I'll maybe he'll see like what I'm trying to do and he'll be chill, right? Because I bet you if I lie, pick the other two, I bet you he's gonna cause a fit and drop me down anyways. Cause remember, the other one I think the other one, Gargaros would have accepted me if I would have done enough side quests, I bet. So maybe if I'm just honest, he'll let me through. I'm a kid. Of course you are, I knew that simply by looking at you. However, I wanted to make sure you weren't a liar. I can't stand liars. There we go. You're an honest one, though. You may proceed at your own leisure. Don't ever forget the value of honesty as you grow up. Haha, <laughs> something I wish people in the real world actually, you know, used. I might skip past that one. Let let's talk to everybody here. Popsicle. Oh, can't stop shaking. This is bad. It's like bad. I can't stop shaking. Yeah, because you're, you're, you're cold. You're Popsicle. You're always shaking. What are you? Don't misunderstand. That's what Yokai seem to carry around a lot of anger. Don't think about trying to befriend them. Yeah, we can't. Are they like getting possessed or something? Like. I can't even tell if that's a recolor of Sushiyama because bro is like grayscale. What am I doing? They literally just said I can't befriend them. I bet the next one we're gonna go against is gonna be like the uh I think it's gonna be the black Gargaros variant. Is there because unless there's another one I don't know about. But I thought there was three. There was Gargaros, or Gargaros, whatever the frick his name was. I know there's Gargaros, there's the blue one, and then there's the black one. So I wonder if that's who we're about to, like, come across. No, we cannot have you killing anybody right now. Don't you dare- okay. We can't let anybody die. Because I don't know when the next IPO is, and uh, I don't want to risk anything. Nope. Okay. Uh. Actually. There we go. Much better. The Kraken is as strong as they come. If you're going to continue past here, you best be ready. So I'm wondering now what the next one will be. You know what? Screw this. I have an idea. Just to make sure nothing bad happens. One, two, three. There is three people in this hallway. Five, if you include the other two. Um, messed up yokai. Oh, yep, I was right. I bet you're just gonna be like, oh, do you have good memory? I'm Orkanos. Oh. Yeah, Orkanos, the mighty. My power makes all others quake before me. Edema recognized my strength for being charged of this gate. Question is, why do y'all cause terror time? Now I want to know that if y'all are just like trying to guard this. All oh, right, wasn't the whole thing supposed to be like you'd get stronger if you like woke up? Maybe that's the secret intention behind it. Like you, like their intention is to try to get you to get over your fear and you get stronger. That could be it. Oh boy. Okay, Enma. Truly did represent the best of us. 
But a king may be gone, I will protect this gate with my life. So judge whether or not you are worthy of passing this gate. By what? Let me see now. You fought 81 battles in your life. That's hardly enough to break a sweat, eh? There are two things in the world that I simply cannot abide. One is lazy weaklings. And the other is people who throw beans at me. Bro. How is I supposed- Bro, I've gone out of my way to fight more yokai. I've literally gone out of my way to fight yokai. And it's, it didn't even matter. That's crazy. I went out of my way to fight, like, yokai I came across. And, uh, the game just said, screw you. The game just gave me the, the like, biggest middle finger ever. Oh my god. Maybe some training time down below will make you stronger. I don't even think about bringing uh, any beans back with you. Oh, I'll bring back a bunch. Don't worry, buddy. Oh, that's great. <laughs> These guys are gonna be overly strong, aren't they? Maybe try and get myself a new yokai. Oh god. Okay, who are you going after? Let's go. No, I just want that. Let me see if there's something you like. Maybe? Eh, whatever. I can't eat it. Oh my god. Eh, I just let them finish the job. Ooh, okay. Yo, let's go! I didn't even mean to get you, but sure. You're too strong. What do I do? Bet. Oh my god. That voice is crazy. Uh, we'll... We'll keep you the same. Ooh, okay, nice. What rank are you, though? Ooh, rank A. That's good. We need him on my team ASAP. I'll fight this guy. And you brought all these guys with you. Can I just like... I mean, we have a lot of them. Okay. Ooh, Mighty Medicine, that's good. Hmm, I mean, they are giving me a chance to grind. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. They're like saying, hey, we know you are not that strong. Here's your chance to grind, so you know what? Nah, I'm gonna fight some stuff real quick. Do maybe two more battles. Then call it a day. Because I think they want me to grind. No, you don't. Not if I do it first. That has to cancel it out. Oh my god. Uh 
Oh boy. Oh boy. If things get too crazy, I'm using the escape doll. First of all, get this guy out of here. Immediately. Oh, that... Ooh, okay, that was close. Oh, boy. We cannot let you die. You are a part of my main team. Okay. Oh, my God. That better have leveled up some of my yokai. Wow, okay. That's crazy. That's enough grinding. My yokai are barely surviving. I want to save all the crazy good stuff for, like, final boss territory. I really hope I can go to an every mark before the final boss. Like, I could just leave and, you know. That's a Mirapo, right? Yes. Thank God. Oh, that's... Surely not. Wait a minute. Okay. I still want Komasan on my team. This is what I'll do. Whatever, okay. I want you to be, uh, let me see what your, uh, special is. Ooh, but you can't really... I mean, I want Timid Devil regardless, because he looks like he's gonna be pretty good. But yep, yeah, that's why we need that Mirapo. Please. Oh my god, really? Wow. I really hope this is, this is this better not be the final boss. Oh. Um Uh Mirapo, please. Oh god, am I really about to fight the final boss right now this second? Are you serious? I can't even go back. I was gonna stall. I was gonna go and like, go to an every mark, get some stuff for the rest of the episode. And, you know, stuff like that. And then I was gonna come back next episode. But I can't. I have to go now. That's insane. That, wow. Okay. <gasps> it's him. Oh god, am I really about to do this? I don't think that I'm strong enough for this, honestly. I need better yokai. This guy's gonna one-tap my whole team. Squee he. Yes it is. yes it is. It is I. Yokai chairman. S uh Squidilius. I really hope I'm saying that. Squidilius McCracken. 
I must say, I'm surprised that a human child made this far. You must be squitting about yokai and humans being friends. Humans are inferior. Yokai should be the ones ruling the world. Well, aren't you rather? S <laughs> oh my god, I hate you, Whisper. Well, aren't you rather shellfish? Hmm, get it? Did it ever occur to you that humans and yokai might like one another? If you can't even realize that truth, you're not fit to rule a goldfish bowl. Oh my god. That's right. My friends don't want to rule anything. Uh, we want to live together in peace. Save it. I'm not the sucker you think I am. It's time for a new yokai era. And there's no way I'd let some little human kid like you screw it all up. Oh, don't worry, you are, because I'm at one tap. Is this really happening? Oh god. Oh god. We're dead. We're all dead. Okay, it's clear. Go after the hands. I bet I could do it with this team if I had more, like, healing items. Oh, we can inspirit you! Okay. Oh god, Venox. We just need to get your health down, and then once you're, like, exposed or whatever... Okay, I'm shocked this guy isn't one-tapping us. I might have a shot. There's only gonna be one attempt this episode, obviously. Time out? Okay. You do your thing. Oh my god. Oh, you know what hand needs to go? That needs to go. Take out the hand. Rattel, take out the hand. Please. That's gonna heal him. Probably all the way to full health, knowing this game. Oh god. Oh wow, that didn't even restore that much health. That's shocking. We have a lot of good healing items here. You know what I'm gonna use? When this guy gets down, I'm gonna start doing some crazy stuff. Okay, so we know we can inspirit him. Timid Devil's useful after all. Because we can inspirit him. Now there's gonna be problems, buddy. Oh, he's weak. I just realized. Uh, okay, do not screw one of these up. You're weak. Get him. Anybody here that needs healing? So we're about halfway through the fight. That's shocking. Ooh, not good. I think this is Cap. You know what? I'm gonna call Cap. This is not the final boss. Oh boy. I'm gonna actually send all of you out. 
Y'all need to be healed after that one. Ooh. We just need to heal Thornyon. Oh god. That's not good. Do not screw up, Venox. Oh, he restored them. Bad. Get him. Make sure we go for that left hand. Even though it's our right. You get the point. Okay. I need to heal these guys. Oh, no you don't, no you don't, no you don't. Mess him up. Oh god. Oh god. Quick, Kappa. Oh dang! Uh oh. They're all dead. Yep. Item. Uh, Venok can take a lot of hits. Yeah, too late, buddy. Already started the ultimate. Too late. Sorry, I had to pause for a sec. I am very confused right now. I don't understand. Is this really the final boss? Like, listen. I'm not necessarily complaining. This is just weirdly easy. Like, this feels like one of those twists. Where it's gonna be like, oh, nah, uh You have, like, an entire five hours of the game left. Considering the fact that, you know... I looked up that the game's around 20 hours. We're about to beat it in 10. Like, sorry, I don't believe the game. I actually don't, I actually don't believe it. I actually am not trusting the game here. Oh god, Rattel's dead. Oh, that's a shocker. No, why this one out of anything could have picked? Oh my god. Back to my main team. No, don't you- Oh my god. Sweet spot. Yep, 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 come on. Oh god. Ooh. This is bad.
Venox needs that health, and then Venox is purified immediately. Oh my god. Venox. Okay, this is the plan. We're gonna need you on the front lines in a minute, once you're purified. Dang, Rattel's actually tanking these hits! Wait, just get one in. There it is. Okay, good, it's just you. Come on. Okay, good. I might revive some of my uh, teammates just to be safe. Like, I think I'm gonna revive Kappa for sure. And that's why. Okay. Didn't I get some normal, like, bad medicine or whatever? Where did that go? Did I already use it? Ooh. That- this is a really- Ah. Let me heal. Okay. Wow, okay. Screw this. Don't use it on Thornyon. Oh my god, of course you did. Oh my god, this is really bad. I was a bit too risky. We're so close to the end, though. I have to push through. I feel like Rattel's dead. Here's the plan. And the second I can heal... Come on. Please. Item. Now. Rattel's dead. Ooh. Now you're in trouble. I'd say you're done now. You have to be. Um... Come on, please. Quick, work! We don't have forever. Kappa's gonna die. Oh my god, I really have to hope they go after Venox. No, 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 go after Venox. The one that can tank all your hits, please. Oh my god, okay. Oh, dang, okay. Oh, I highly doubt it. 
Cat. Cat, we did not just beat the game. I'm smelling Cat. I don't think so. Like I said, I'm not complaining if we just did, but like... That does not seem like a final boss. That right there was the most... If that is a fake-out boss, that is the most predictable fake-out boss I've ever seen in my life. Yes. I was literally talking about this before. A pack. All right. No. Oh boy. Nope. This is not. I, I I don't trust this. I don't trust this. Why? Why? Why do you have to get involved? The one who just couldn't leave the human world to the humans. And the yokai world doesn't belong uh, to one single entity. Certainly not you. It just wouldn't be good for a reputation. So he, you may have beaten me here, but I'll be coming back. I'll wrap my tentacles around both worlds, though it will be mine. Just you wait. Yeah. Knew it. Not as long as I'm around. What a buffoon. Anyways, it's been quite a long journey, Nate. I guess you could call it that. You kept the piece of the human world. We're practically here at Cap. Cap. I can turn on my butler's life with three meals a day and a strong nap. It's like the luckiest yokai in the entire human world. Speaking of which, let's, let's get back there, Nate. I'm with you. We should probably check in with Lucas first thing. I bet you they kidnapped him. Oh yeah, I forgot he was waiting for us back at the school. Let's go, Whisper. I bet you that's what it is. They kidnapped him. Oh, yeah, this is not over. You kidding? Now, listen, I will keep going just to be safe. Like, just to be absolutely safe, I'm gonna keep going. Because who knows at this point. For all I know, this could end up being an ending. Oh boy. Next stop, Human Realm. I did not just beat the game. I did not just beat the game. That is so cap. Welcome, Human Realm. Did I actually... This seems like the ending, from like the very little memory of, I have of it. Oh god. Did I just beat- did I just casually beat the final boss first try as well? Without that much of an issue? Oh god, where's the closest spot to the school? Oh wow. Yeah, that's definitely a close one to the school, all right. Okay, keep in mind there's a quest there. Nate, I'm glad you're safe. Couldn't shake this awful feeling. Not only are things not finished, but something bad is going to happen. What do you mean, like what? Oh my, here we go. Whisper, are you okay? I don't know, I hope so. I'm feeling very strong aura. Yeah, I knew it. Uh, really? You haven't noticed it? You really are hopeless. Yeah, I knew it. Well, you're out, McCracken's uh, Connie's came back to break the seals. Now, Springdale's basically one drag yokai power plant. And here's proof of that now. Oh my god. Yes, once again, I wake from my sleep. Ah, uh, look out. Again. No, I say. No, I say. No, 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 I say. The seals have been broken and my power surges. This world will soon be ours. You shall be my first snack. Are we fighting you again? Um. 
Um. Uh. We'll do this next time. I'll just leave it on this screen here. We're gonna end the episode here. Yeah, that was some cap. I knew it. I knew it. You couldn't fool me, game. I knew it. Oh my god, I'm gonna record right after I upload this anyways, so like, I'm just gonna leave it on the screen here. Guess we'll fight this guy again later. But uh, yeah, with that being said, that is gonna be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!